Fun, free things to do in St. Louis. My gosh, we were blown away. We went here with family for a wedding. Uh, only spent two days there. Wish we could have spent longer just because of how incredible the city was. Had zero expectations, quite honestly. <laughs> uh, but if you are on a goal to not spend any money on a vacation, St. Louis is the place for you. First thing you have to see, of course, is the arch. It costs to go up the arch, but it's still worth seeing even if you're on a budget. Uh, it's called the Gateway to the West. It's the world's tallest arch and the tallest man-made monument in the Western Hemisphere. It's also the tallest stain stainless steel monument in the world. Hey, there's Daddy right there! Say hi! Uh, right next to there is the Museum of Western Expansion. It's part of the ne Jefferson National Expansion Memorial. It's a free National Park Service museum with exhibits on the history of the West, including Lewis and Clark being from Idaho. I love hearing a little bit of Lewis and Clark history whenever possible. There's also this really cool park right outside of this whole area. Kids love playing with it. Uh, kids at heart will love playing there too. Our kids loved it. Hey guys, look that way. The other thing you might want to check out is the St. Louis L Riverfront Trail, also right next to that arch area while you're there. It's 12.2 miles. It's completely paved. You can catch it near the arch. It follows the Missouri River. It's safe and great for families. So if you want to get some biking in, running in, this is a great place to do that. One thing that we went and saw that I really, really was not expecting was the Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis. And this um, was probably one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen in my life. I have been to Europe, I have toured so many cathedrals, but I've never seen a basilica. It was the, they have these mosaics. This mosaic is amazing. It, it contains 41 million glass pieces. To make up this mosaic, there's over 7,000 colors represented here. It's covering over 83,000 square feet. It's the largest mosaic collection in the world outside of Russia. They also have an organ that plays during Mass. I'm not Catholic, but even if you just want to go to Mass to hear the organ play and the phenomenal acoustics there, I would recommend it. I was in awe. Um, quite honestly, I was in tears during this exhibit because it was so beautiful. From there, after seeing the Basilica, you'll have to head to Forest Park. Again, this is phenomenal. The city of St. Louis has done this. It covers 1,300 acres. It's a forest park that covers 1,300 acres. It includes the St. Louis Zoo. The zoo is home of more than 16,000 exotic animals, many of them rare and endangered. Uh, make sure to check out the hours beforehand. We really wanted to do this, but the hours, they, they closed at a weird hour, so we weren't able to go. The next one is also included in the forest park is the St. Louis Art Museum. The collection of the St. Louis Art Museum contains over 30,000 art pieces. Uh, and they're dating anywhere from antiquity to the present, which is pretty amazing. The last but not least is this St. Louis Science Center. Center. It's a collection of buildings, including a science museum and planetarium. It has over with over 700 exhibits. It's the perfect place to take the family or yourself to save a dollar and to have a great adventure. Well, thank you so much for watching. It was great having you along with us. Please feel free to comment below if you know of some secrets that I did not mention. And I look forward to hearing about your own adventure. Until next time, like and subscribe.